I'm Lieutenant Justin Newsom, J-U-S-T-I-N-N-E-W-S-O-M. Uh, we're here today to talk about an attempted kidnapping of a one-year-old child this morning uh, at approximately 8 a.m. in the 1900 block of Deer Run. A mother was walking to her car uh, carrying her one-year-old child when a vehicle that's been described as a red two-door older model pickup truck with dark tinted windows pulled up in front of her house and a suspect who's been described as a Hispanic female, heavy set, approximately 40 years old, 5'5", five five, uh, last seen wearing a white top under a black jacket and blue jeans, approached her and demanded her baby. Uh, the, the mom uh, refused, obviously. Uh, the suspect then brandished a knife. The mom uh, turned away to shield her baby and the lady grabbed, the suspect grabbed the mom and the baby, attempting to take the baby from her arms. Uh, after a br brief struggle, the mother fell to the ground uh, in order to shield the baby from the suspect. Uh, and the suspect then reached into the mother's vehicle, uh, took some property from her, uh, then fled the scene back in that same vehicle. Uh, again, it happened about 8 a.m. this morning. Uh, we are asking that anyone who may have seen this encounter or has any information about it to give us a call uh, so we can try to locate the suspect. Can you tell us what she took just in case maybe it's something people wouldn't know? No, right now we can't. We're gonna hang on to that. Did the victim say she may have known the suspect? The victim did not know the suspect. Yeah, was this a normal route? Like, did she normally walk in this area? Or like, was it maybe, you know, they've been seeing her for a while? This was Yeah, this, this was, you know, in front of the lady's residence. And so she had never seen this person before. How common is something like this? It seems this pretty bizarre. Very uncommon. Uh, I can't even think the last time we had uh, the attempted abduction of any child, much less a one-year-old. The press release said the suspect was wearing a single black glove on the right hand. Does that's that correct. indicate that's, that's anything? That. Maybe they're trying to cover up identifying features or shield fingerprints? You can make suppositions about it, but I, I can't think of anything that it would be, be used for. It could, it could also have been you know, some type of, of brace also. I'm just uh, not sure exactly what that was. Was she alone? She was. At the t yes. Well, she was the passenger in the vehicle, so someone was driving the vehicle. I thought you were asking about the mother, and yes, she no, was No, the alone. suspect. Yeah, the suspect was a passenger in that red vehicle, so there was a driver, uh, and the mother did not get a look at the driver of the vehicle. I mean, obviously people who live in this area are going to be a bit concerned now. Sure, about yeah, everyone, you know, anytime something like this happens, we should all be concerned about it. Um, uh, we all know to be aware of our surroundings, uh, to report anything suspicious that we may see. Uh, if you see something, uh, don't ignore it. Uh, always maintain your vigilance and report anything suspicious that you see to the police. Have any other cities been dealing with anything like this? I'm not aware of any that have. Were there any injuries to the mom or child when they were uh, The mom received superficial injuries, uh, the child uh, no injuries. But she wasn't cut or anything, she didn't actually use the knife against her, did she? Uh, there's, there's no injuries on her consistent with being cut with a knife. Did she seem to think that the woman that tried to take the baby, was she, did she look crazy or? She didn't indicate any of that. Okay. Did she say anything about her having a heavy accent or when she was speaking to her demanding for the child? To she didn't indicate any of that either. What did the mother do after the assailants drove off? Uh, she went in the house and called 911. We'll take one more on this incident. What was the, do you have an exact address? It's in the 1900 block of Deer Run. Okay. Great. We'll transition to the murder suicide. Okay. Uh, now let's talk about the murder suicide uh, that was uh, that occurred last night at approximately 5 p.m. on December 6th uh, at 202 Hartwood. A 911 call was received uh, in which a, a male who was later identified as Roy Keenan, an 82-year-old male, uh, reported that he had killed his wife and was going to kill himself. He indicated that uh, he did so because of an illness that she had, uh, the facts of which I, I won't talk about uh, out of respect for her family. Uh, he also advised in on the 911 call where he could find, where the police could find their bodies uh, inside the residence. And upon arrival, officers did in fact find uh, Mr. Keenan deceased, uh, as well as uh, a white female who, according to Mr. Keenan, was his wife. Uh, this morning, uh, autopsy was performed and Mr. Keenan's death was ruled uh, a suicide. 
and the death of the female has, is pending toxicology reports. Questions? Okay, so do you guys need help identifying the woman or? Well, the fingerprints are taken by the medical examiner's office and they haven't been, been ran yet as a procedural thing, so we're not releasing her name and, and identifying her until that's done. Thank Can I ask you. one more question about the first case? Sure. Uh, was the baby a boy or girl? I don't know, honestly. Okay. <laughs> um, are you guys actually, can I ask a question about that really quickly? I was sorry, texting, I mean typing at the same time. Um, are you guys stepping up your secure surveillance in that area where the mother or the toddler situation? Yeah, we're gonna ask the patrol officer in that, in that area to, to conduct directed patrols and keep an eye out for a vehicle matching that description. Great. Thanks. Were there any other uh, incidences around that area involving that same vehicle? None that we've vehicle? located yet through records checks, uh, but none that were reported also. Thanks, y'all. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.